What's up, everybody? It's your man, Jay Field from HowToMakeVerySickBeats.com. If this is your first time looking at any of my videos, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm laughing because, man, I, I came up on something on accident. I said, I got to share it with y'all. Check this out. Did you know that you could use gospel click tracks or gospel type clip tracks to create your hip hop beats? <laughs> We're going to talk about that. So let's get into it. <laughs> Mad Lib, y'all hear about this? Mad Lib is getting sued by Bob James, man. Y'all heard the record Nautilus. He sampled it. I mean, who hasn't sampled it? I did a video on it years back, sampling it. <laughs> Give me your thoughts on that. Tell me what you think. Sample, or is that going to stop you from sampling? Give me your thoughts on it. I'm just, I'm just curious. All right. Anyway, gospel type. <laughs> I say gospel type click tracks because these are the tracks. If you ever listen to contemporary gospel music, you hear uh, tracks in the background for the drummers, specifically for drummers that they use to play, you know, with their headphones and then they, you know, they play on top of it with the live drums. So there are certain elements to those tracks that you can use as kind of a, a guide or a startup with your own beats. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Watch this. Some of the main elements for contemporary gospel click tracks are mainly percussion. So you might have like uh, snap, claps, tambourine, you know, all that percussion type stuff, shakers. Um, so I, I got some sounds here bongo it could be a cowbell whatever and i had a question not too long ago about you know trying to create um a track and just having the shakers get on beat so you know here's here's the thing check this out they say you got a, your tempo at 130 i know that's kind of fast but watch watch where i'm going you're gonna have try this have set your tempo to 130 right and then you're gonna have your timing at one eighth triplets. See that highlighted there, right there? One eighth triplets. Okay. All right, I'm just doing a two bar loop, 130 BPM. Okay, let's just start with a clap, right? This could be any clap sound. I'm gonna go ahead and record this right now. Simple, watch this. All right, so that's in there. I got the clap. Boom. So now, you're going to use your shakers. Now, the way to make sure that it's on beat, if you choose not to quantize, is put your timing back on one-eighth triples, like I, just, like I showed you up here. <clears throat> okay, and it's kind of like use your tap tempo to play it along and then make sure full level is off that way the harder you hit it the louder it is the softer you hit it the, the softer it is you know what i'm saying and it'll make it sound more realistic okay so i'm going to hold my tap tempo note repeat down as it's recording and just randomly do different you know pressing down on the pad harder softer and watch this That could be a typical contemporary gospel click track. <laughs> you know, a lot of times it might have more elements like, uh, let's see, like maybe um, a uh, cowbell. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. It could be, it could be anything. Um, tambourine in there. So let's say that's your, your skeleton, okay? That's your skeleton. Now here is the killer. Once you do that, and notice I left out the kick and the snare on purpose because like I said, this is a gospel click track 
and and for drummers they don't need that in there recorded because they're going to play the kick live they're going to play the snare live they're going to play the hi-hat live okay they're just using the skeleton of those per the uh, percussion elements so this is where you can use that concept into hip-hop drum beat making all right check this out i got a kick snare and a hi-hat right here and the rest of these elements i can just use if i want to using that same timing one eighth triple triplets and tap tempo note repeat watch this So it sound almost like like an African type of beat or something like that, but it's crazy, man. And that's because of the percussion. That's why it sounds so crazy. So I'm just messing around. I was messing around earlier, man, with a beat like I do. And um, this is what I came up with. Just just messing around. Actually, I'm not. I'm still working on it, so it's not even finished. <laughs> That's all I got to say, man. I'm just randomly hitting the notes, holding down the tap tempo. And some of y'all might say, well, how can, I can't mix like that. Everything's going to be on the same track. Well, what you can do is if you want, it might take some time. If you record this into your, um, your software, if you have it, you can always go back and separate each individual thing and then put them into different tracks that way. Or if you don't care, Think about it. When you sample a drum break, that's not separated, right? You just you just sampling and then putting it on one track, and it's all together. Granted, it's already mixed because it came from a record, but hey, it's a good way to you know get an idea popping off and do it your do your thing, and you get the idea. If you like the video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. <laughs> I thank you all my supporters for watching my videos, taking the time. Come check me out. Come follow me. I got all the links below this video. I really appreciate it. More vids to come. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.